in the last class what we have studied we have studied about normal extensions what are normal extensions the extensions for which every polynomial can split into linear factors so in the normal extension we have the extension in which all polynomials split into linear factors so this is the definition for normal extension in splitting field we have one polynomial and this one polynomial split into linear factors but in normal extension this was in splitting field in normal extension we have several polynomials which split into linear factors so that is normal extension so now here we will see that a finite extension which is normal is also a splitting field that means we say given we are given some finite extension suppose f is some field and e is its extension field then we say this extension field this is an this is given to be finite extension then we say this is normal extension of f if and only if this is also the splitting field so it will be normal if and only if it is the splitting field so this is what we have to show what we are given that the extension that is a finite extension so this is given to us so in the first part of proof we assume that the given extension e is finite extension moreover we assume that it is a normal extension and we will prove that it is a splitting field so to prove this is the splitting field of a polynomial f of x that, so that means what we have to show we have to show that this polynomial splits into linear factors in e splits into linear factors in e right so how can we do that we know the given extension that is a finite extension if this is a finite extension we know every finite extension is also algebraic extension finite extension implies algebraic extension so that means e is also an algebraic extension if this is algebraic extension we can write this to be the lower field and the algebraic elements adjoin to it so where all these alpha is they are algebraic elements over f which are present in e so this is by the definition then we say each alpha is algebraic and because this is an algebraic element that means in this lower field we would have some polynomial pix which would act as the minimal polynomial for this element alpha so that means alpha would be the root for this particular polynomial so we say alpha i belongs to e is algebraic and then there exists some minimal polynomial of alpha i over f now because e is a normal extension this is also we have assumed that it is a normal extension then by definition this uh, minimal polynomial pix would split in e by the definition of normal extension and if it splits in e that means it has one root in e that means we we can write this pix as x minus alpha i into some other polynomial say g of x where this alpha is the root of this polynomial that is what we are saying now we 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 were to show that the polynomial become the given extension becomes the splitting field if and only if this polynomial splits into linear factor this is some random polynomial so we we can write this random polynomial as product of various irreducible polynomials one of which is pix or p1x p2x pnx depending upon uh, alpha 1 is root of this one alpha 2 is root of this one and alpha n is root of this one because all these polynomials they have root in e that means their product which is defined by f of x also have a root also has a root in e all of its root are present in fx so because all its root are present in e the extension field so that means we can say this polynomial splits into linear factors this splits into 
linear factors linear factors in e so that means if this polynomial splits into linear factors that means e must behave as the splitting field of the polynomial f of x this is what we were intended to prove for the converse part we assume that the given extension field that is finite and now we assume the reverse we assume that it is also the splitting field we have to show now that this is a normal extension this is what we have to prove so for the converse part the converse part is quite obvious we have assumed that it is finite it is the splitting field and we will prove that it is the normal extension so here because e is finite so every finite extension is an algebraic extension that means e is also an algebraic extension if this is an algebraic extension then by definition for every element which is present in e there corresponds a minimal polynomial say p alpha x we call it p alpha x corresponding to this alpha in f of x which splits into linear factors in e because we are given e to be the splitting field therefore the given minimal polynomial that splits into the splitting field and moreover because this element which we have chosen as alpha this element is arbitrary because this is arbitrary that means whenever you change this element uh, you you got a new polynomial corresponding to this particular element so that new polynomial also splits into linear factors in e because e is the splitting field so this is true for every alpha which is present in e and for every alpha you have different variety of minimal polynomial uh, pre which which is present in f of x so that means for every alpha belonging to e which is an arbitrary element we have a minimal polynomial and that minimal polynomial splits into linear factors in e so this now suggest that e is a normal extension because we have shown that the family of polynomials represented by p alpha of x that splits into that splits into linear factors in e thus e behave as a normal extension